<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Game Club. Yeah, Yay. Game Club. This week featuring Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Yes. Which seemed like the dumbest game in the world no. that I was going to hate and that was awful. Until we set it up and started playing it. Let's talk about what Crypt of the Necro Dancer is. So Crypt of the Necro Dancer is an indie game that is designed to be played with a DDR pad um, or a dance pad. Let's not bring anybody's dance copyright pad. into this. A dance pad. A Xerox it. All and right. it's a dungeon crawler where you, um, you fight enemies and you move into them to attack. But if mm. they move into your space, like if they're going to jump into your space, they get priority in the attack. So you have to like some like certain... Enemies move different ways, and you have to be very strategic. And, about if, how you play. and if you move along with the beat of the music that's right. playing, you get a coin multiplier and bonus. Right. Uh, to, if you kill to... a, an enemy and continue going on the beat, then you you get like this kind of like disco look to your board, and you get a coin multiplier. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess like the the way that the best way that I would describe it is DDR meets Gauntlet. Yes. Yeah, it's like a very much a DDR dungeon crawl. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're necessarily penalized for not moving on the beat. You it just says don't get beat the, skipped. Yeah. yeah, I think you just don't get the the, the bonuses. You lose bonus. your coin. Multiple. Although yeah. I wonder, it, yeah, I wonder too it. if it like weakens your attacks or something like that if you're not doing it on the beat. Yeah, I don't know. It quite seems like there would the be some drawback. kind of penalty. Yeah. All I know is that we died a lot. Yes, I first saw this game um, at PAX Prime 2013 at the Indie Games Mega Booth. And uh, it was the first debut of the game. Mega boots. Mega boots. <laughs> and it was super awesome. And then I got um, into, I want to say, I keep wanting to call it beta, but I believe it was Steam Early Access oh. that it was mm -hmm. in um, last year. Which is year. kind of the same thing. Though, exactly. Right? I keep calling it beta, but um, people. It's early terms. access. Early yeah. access, beta. Yeah, whatever. Last year. You got early access to the beta. To the beta. There you go. And uh, they sent me a the pad that we played on. They had two special edition dance pads. Um, one with an enemy and one with a game's hero on them. And I brought one in for us to play. Uh, if you saw the stream, we Which all played we it. Which we abused, yes. I'm afraid. No, no, no. no mostly, mostly Brandon abused it. Brandon that's was fair. pretty crazy. He fell quite a bit. We, we, did, did. we did make Brandon play. Right. And then so that we could go, ha, 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 Brandon can't dance. The, but the best thing about this was, like, I'd played it a, quite a bit. Not quite a bit, like a ton, but I'd played it a bit. And I'd never known there was a dance pad mode right. so, because it's so far underneath where you start. Yeah, so the Twitch chat was actually really helpful because yeah. someone in chat, I think his name was Ryan, uh, was like, oh, you know, go here. I was behind the scenes <laughs> helping you guys out. What can I say? Go here and, you know, enable dance pad mode. And he ta taught us, like, how to randomize the songs. And, yeah. you know, it was giving a lot of helpful information. It was great because when you start, you're in this area and you just go into these stairs. And zone one is right below where you start. So I'm like, got to start there, of course. It's like World 1-1. One, one. That's just right. where you That's go. That's where you go. But if you go all the way down, there's, like, dance pad, easier. And I, I remember tweeting when I first got it, like, this game is brutal. But the dance pad mode, we were, like, beating yeah. enemies and like starting to figure out the strategy. The game's so. a little easier and you start with items uh, which right. help you uh, Yeah, in and the like game. spells and, and stuff. And like you spawn in and there's like, here's this, have this too. What's up, you want more health? Sure. Yeah, yeah it was great. And so. then you, but suddenly and then, the game was like, we were really good at the game. And yeah. then the way you use some of the items was by jumping on multiple arrows. Right. So like, you know, like a DDR combo almost. Like if you wanted to plant a bomb, I think it was you had to jump on the down and left arrows. Mm -hmm. Or maybe down and right arrow at I the same time. I think it was down time. and left. And you, you got a magic spell at one point. You killed yeah. a dragon. Fire. You could, it was up and right. Mm -hmm. You could do fire. And then there was a heal that I think was down and right. Yeah, um, you're right. But a lot of people were talking about when, it, when, we, when we picked this game. A lot of people, and I said, oh, you have to have a dance pad to play it. A lot of people were like, I play it with keyboard and mouse. And... Ashley actually played it with keyboard and mouse. Uh, this game is designed for the dance pad, and I feel like that's what makes it unique, and that's what the way I feel it should be played. Ashley, you played it with keyboard and mouse. How do you feel? I did. I mean, I thought it was easier with keyboard and mouse for I'm sure. sure. Like, I was, like, because you have to move a lot less, like, just like a little tick, 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 tick. Well, and does. I felt like I had, like, the rhythm. I just, like, tick, tick. Oh, yeah, I'm moving like crazy. This is the best. Did you feel like everything. it was cooler or less cool? I felt or like it was like it... The, the default mode, I felt like, was definitely easier to do with the keyboard and mouse. I think it's a lot harder with the dance pad because you have to move so much sure. more. It's harder to move that much and keep the beat. Maybe I'm just super white. <laughs> <laughs> definitely the case for me. Um, but I, I enjoyed it, but I definitely think it was more crazy fun with a dance pad for right. sure. I think I was having trouble because I have big feet. And like oh, yeah. keeping one foot in the center, like or trying to recenter my feet, I would invariably be stepping on one of the arrows in some direction. But you can do that. You can because DDR players um, never rest in the center. You're always standing on an arrow. Mm -hmm. um, and I find myself trying to break out of that 
when I play Crypt of the Necrodancer, I'm always trying to come back to the center, but you can actually rest on an arrow and it won't affect oh. your ability. So okay. you can rest mm. on the left arrow and hit right, which I just did backwards on my feet. Um, and it'll just go right. Oh. It won't try to okay. do it as a combo. You have that's to jump to activate that combo. Oh, issues. that's really helpful then. Yeah. Thank you. The color was Sharpies. Schmitz? I totally called them my Kimmy Schmitz. Yeah. I colored them with Sharpies. But... <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, shoe cam. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I, like, I actually think we, we streamed the game a little bit. We, we try and stream a lot of the Game Club games yeah. on the Rooster Teeth Twitch. Uh, people keep asking about that, so it's twitch.tv slash Rooster Teeth is where we stream most of the games we've done for Game Club. There's one or two we've missed, but mostly we do it. And... Uh, so we streamed that for maybe 45 minutes yesterday. I think we could do more. We pretty much just had to stop because stream team was was um, had their they were gonna go, so we yeah. had to stop and we were all kind of upset about it. Yeah, we should totally do more. Ryan, how did you feel playing the game? Oh, it was very special to me. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have a chance to play it yet. You so failed I, well, us. We, we we came I to get you. I watched videos. We came you to did. get you actually for mm-hmm. your. Uh, to come play with us because we thought it would be hilarious to watch you too. I would have loved to do work. it. I'm, do you I'm think actually sad sure. that I didn't get a chance. On a level it. of dance skills, <laughs> mm-hmm. how would you compare yourself to Brandon? Is, is there a negative number on this compared rating scale? Compared, compared to Brandon. <laughs> compared to Brandon? Oh, I think I got more rhythm than that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I can do it. I, think you can do it. I, think I mean, I showed off like some on three play. Up. Like I was totally oh, yeah. yeah. Like if I could do that he on the pad, I can. I can. Yeah. I mean, Michael Flatley ain't got nothing on me. Uh, I don't know how that would translate to my ability to crawl a dungeon with my fleetness of foot, but can you can you do me a favor? I see you have like some info about the game up here, Ashley. Oh yeah, yeah. You, oh, is, I is thought there, you were pointing at yeah, me. I was, I was looking at my feet too. Like, <laughs> is, there on a, your feet. is there a co-op? No, just single player. Yeah, I could see if there was like single a single player. Or anything. It, okay. I co-op imagine. would be really fun, especially because you said there are two pads. Yeah, they mm-hmm. sent me. So two if you could pads. have two pads and be doing that, that would be that would be insane. That would be crazy. Yeah, maybe in the future. Maybe that's maybe I, that'll be the expansion. Remember, I can't imagine don't starve. How that would got, work. Don't starve together later that's true. on. That's Like yeah. well, we made the comparison to Gauntlet earlier, so it makes mm-hmm. me think about how you, it's multiple players on a Gauntlet screen, all In but fact, you're, you're you're held co-op. together. There, there is, is co-op. co-op. There is co-op. Oh, this page just says single player. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Live. Maybe we should do co-op Ryan and Brandon. And see oh who's God. the better oh, Crypt wow. of the Necrodancer yeah. player. We could one of them breaks one of his pads, I'll kill you. Uh, she just called you fat. Is, is she literally bad? just called no, you fat no. to your face. She said, if no. your fat ass puts too no. much weight on the pad, I will kill you. That is not much what I like meant. Much like the heart attack you're going to have I later in life. I explained yesterday <laughs> in me. the room while we were streaming that the other pad is much cooler looking, and I had used that one. When I was playing, I was playing. I'm gonna I go to cry into this. a pizza. I hope the people who make the game don't see me say this. I played DDR on my computer with the <laughs> <laughs> uh, before I got my machine, and I like started to screw up the skull pad. Uh. So I'm hoping one of you screws it up. So wait, you already so broke it. <laughs> You already broke it. You're it's just trying. You're looking it. for a, a patsy, a is what you're looking finicky, for. Okay. A little it's finicky. Okay. A little finicky. What does finicky mean? It means broken. crushed. It means broken. Yeah. It means broken. Uh, but yeah, I like. I, I really enjoyed the game. I was expecting to to not like it and think it was gimmicky, but it was it was actually really fun. It had oh, some it's, solid it's gimmicky, mechanics. but that doesn't it's, mean yeah. it's not fun. It's yeah. hard. It's really it difficult. Hard. There's some enemies that are just I have no idea how you would defeat them. All right, well, you know let what? me ask. So it's it's a matchup a mashup basically of an RPG sort of very light RPG and a dance a rhythm game. Right. Do you feel like it is a good overlap of those two or? Yeah. I mean, yeah. can yeah, can I, I don't I, pure I, one or the other. I wouldn't call it like. Dance. I don't know if you use. I think you use the word dance. It's definitely more rhythm because there's no yeah. like moves. I danced. It, you yeah. danced. So, Ash- Ashley people, had like the moves. People were very impressed with Incorporating the upper body. She did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I absolutely get it. It's you know what I. That's one of my big problems with any sort of like motion based games is I play them as they're intended to be played, not the way people end up actually uh, playing them. Big problem for me playing Wii as well. Like bowling, you weren't just doing the flip. <laughs> no, I'd be with like full on like. Sh- I got like sore elbows from playing tennis <laughs> and from like yeah. punching and just all. I get exhausted. Because I I play it. Well, do you think there's I enough play it of with the my hook? full heart? <laughs> do you think there's enough of a hook for people that are uh, more interested in one or the other genres to keep them interested in the game? I think so. Yeah. I think it's definitely an interesting twist on rhythm games for sure. Because mm-hmm. we've had so many variations of a game like DDR, but there's really outside of that. I mean, there's you know there's I guess Final Fantasy theater rhythm where you got tap tap tap, but not for actual dancing. Mm. So as far as rhythm games go, I think it's awesome. I feel like this skews though. If we were talking like a Venn diagram or like a like a scatter plot thing of like this side as dance and this side as dungeon crawler, it's way over on the dungeon crawler. Yeah, thing. It's really? much more of a dungeon yeah. crawler than a rhythm game. It just has a rhythm like incorporated into and the dungeon crawler. So you think if we lacking a dance pad, 
you right. still would find a lot to play in this game that'd be fun. I think, I so. think so too. And I yeah. think the soundtrack's really catchy and really it good. Is. So even if you're not, even if you're playing with like the keyboard or a gamepad, I think you know the the hook of the the rhythm would still would still uh, grab you. Yeah, yeah I, I liked that we each enemy had a, a way that you approach it. Like the mummies put their hands up right before they jump, and then like the minotaur guy, the light minotaur charges at a wall. Wait, and then that's he falls the light down. minotaur. Yeah, that's there's what that, they call them. That, I mean, I there's, there's a like heavy a dark minotaur. minotaur or a heavy minotaur. I don't know what kind of light they mean. The heavy minotaur is the one that broke the path. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to take the blame. Her name is Meg. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, but when he charges a wall, you can like back away and then attack him. But then you have to go away in the fire. You or the dragon, you could kill with fire, and mm -hmm. so uh, there were cool like things you figure out as you go along. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I have to do this, or I have to try that. There was strategy, which I liked. Yeah, but even if you don't have a dance pad, it is fun on the keyboard. It's just crazy fun. I on mean, the it does dance sound pad. like if the dance pad option is buried, I think realistically they probably maybe had to embrace the idea that not everybody was going to be yeah. able to yeah. 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 Also, realistically, the dance pad version is one that I would probably bring out with friends. Party time. But I would be way too lazy to do it too much on my own. <laughs> but it's great. It was great, like trading out among us, mm -hmm. just yeah. seeing like who could do what and like getting excited about mm -hmm. it. No, I that fully was the agree. Fun part. Get, like, having that pad and having it's it's hefty. Like it's not a light thing. Like having to pick it up and put it against my wall to like have that space and then like put it back down to use again. It definitely is like if someone was over, I'd feel much more motivated yeah. to get it out. But by myself, it would be. It, it would have like a, a bigger barrier to entry for me to like. Yeah, it up. wasn't one of those. I mean, people can obviously use whatever pad they have, right. I guess, but it wasn't one of those roll up, you know, style right. pads you can Which if you're fold serious about it, I mean, right. you're not going to use one. Yeah, how serious are you about your what? dance? Yeah, just go ahead and draft. build what? it into the floor what? is what you should do if you're really serious about it. I would it. love that. In my dream house, I'll have DDR pads everywhere. Oh, no, you should have one of the, like, like a, a floor where you hit a button and it goes like, and then it comes up. <sighs> it's got to make like, that noise. The ball comes down from the top. got to record this this audio. Yeah. Disco ball? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we should or come up with like my dream house. You'll do all the sound effects, and I'll just like come <laughs> up with the idea. And <laughs> then you just like walk around the house, and you're like, I'm fucking Ryan, <laughs> <laughs> all the time. Yeah, the lights, actually... the lights come on like, beetle boop. Yeah, it, doesn't <laughs> act, it actually just has Ryan's voice all over my house, like. So, like good, good morning. Lord. Yeah. Hey, wake up. Hey, wake up. Welcome That's home, your Meg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only programmable name, but he still like drops <laughs> my name like that. Like, hello, Meg. Like, Jesus. How long before Gavin just burned the house down? <laughs> you would love it. Sure. All right. Well, should we oh, pick oh, a new one? Yeah, wait, I think Let's we should, we should pull out the the, the cylinder of cylinder selection. selection. But roll, roll, roll. Like, roll. Yeah. Up. What, how much Thumbs is the up. game uh, on Steam right now? Do you uh, have it open right I there? I should look at it on Steam where it is. I was looking. I was looking up. Apparently, you can get mods for it, so I'm already yeah. looking into those. Cool. We're, we're looking it up right now on Steam. It's 14.99 on $14 Steam. 14.99, and don't let the not having a dance pad deter you. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's, a, it's, and it's a available. great party game if you do have dance pads. Move so. on Windows, Mac, and Linux. All right. All right. Who wants to go? I'll do it. Okay, go. I'll spin it. Oh yeah, look. This does. Uh, so the Steam page does say it has local co-op. Oh. <laughs> Next week. Sufficiently <laughs> randomized. That will be all. What do we got? He's going to sit back down. I'm going to sit. Get on his mic. Bye, Cylinder. <laughs> Ori and the Blind Forest. Yes. Oh. All right. Cool. That also it's a, it's already a played it. It's a community have? suggestion. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't finished it yet, but now I have every motivation hey. to do so. How long is the is the campaign? Um, you can get through it in like 10 hours, probably. Uh, yeah, okay. I've heard 10 to 12. I think I'm um, like an hour. If you, if you want to complete it, then it takes a bit longer, which is kind of what I've been doing. Also, I suck at platformers. So I have no idea why I like this game so much. <laughs> what what uh, I wish system I could fly are you playing like Child of Light? I'm playing on Xbox. Xbox. Yes, it, is it on Steam as well, or is it? Um, let me look that up. Okay. And we'll get all of that information. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll figure that out for next time. So. Yes. All right. Okay. Well, thank, I'm going to say that it is on PC because one of the first Google Auto completes yeah. was for. It is on X Steam. Okay. Xbox One and PC. It's, uh, let's see Wikipedia here. I like Wikipedia. They always have all the platform information. Yeah. Right there at the top. Um, yeah. It is, yes, yeah, so it's PC, Xbox One, Xbox 360. Cool. Uh, no, not on Xbox 360 yet. It's coming to Xbox 360. So all right, suck it, 360. <laughs> but Get with the times. Uh, and if you play it on PC, use a controller. Absolutely, yeah. Cool. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Right, we'll see you next, next week. Talk about Ori and the Black Forest. Yes!